Hello and welcome to episode 9 of our Timberborn Update 5 playthrough, here with the Iron Teeth in our Mega Build Challenge here in Cycle 15, Day 1. Last time, we did a whole lot of stuff with corn, and we managed to get pretty good with our food and our water supply. Uh, we cut down a whole bunch of trees, and we made it so we have a lot of space to do some more planting, and planting we will do over here in this corner of the map. We have tons of space that is more or less bad tide proof from about here to about here until we have all of these things put in, which we started putting in last time as well. And things are going quite well for us. We could be very, very happy with the progress we've made over the past couple of episodes, righting the wrongs that I caused by being stupid with some of this stuff. But enough about that. Let's get right into it. Uh, last time I did start planting this corn here. We've got a couple pieces that we're waiting to remove so we can finish detonating the rest of this, put the farmhouse here, complete our little circle of paths, and get back to what we are doing. So we have all this pine right here that I was originally keeping for the purposes of doing pine resin storage, which we are now actually out of. We have put all of that into our wood workshop. So if we want to get any more of this to make uh, irrigation barriers, we're going to have to start harvesting some more. And the reason we got rid of it was so we could actually build this here because, well, we were in the way of uh, <laughs> putting all this uh, new irrigation stuff in. But there's pine resin on the ground. All we need to do is build a little storage for it. And for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this small warehouse right here. And we will just set this to accept the pine resin. And then everyone can come grab this off the ground, stick it in here incrementally so we can get the rest of the wood workshops up and running. But long term... Uh, the solution is going to be to get rid of these entirely and move our production of pine resin down to part of the map that still has active living pine trees, uh, which would not be here. We have some here. We have some in this corner. We have some here. And then if we come all the way around to this side. We have some here as well. So we've got a couple different options. It's not such a pressing need at this exact moment in time because we do have about 200 of this on the ground. And that will get us about 200 of these planks, the treated planks, which hopefully will allow us to have most of this taken care of before we really have to worry about too much else. But we're not in a huge rush to get rid of the rest of these uh, pine trees. We have the opportunity to continue harvesting from those until we have a better solution. So I am going to put this tapper shack in right here, and that will hopefully allow our beavers to continue harvesting, which it will. At some point, we're going to have to get the rest of this uh, taken care of, though. I am going to go ahead and uh, cut these trees out, the ones that are in the way of all this path stuff right here. Uh, I'm going to leave the ones that are actually done and have the ability to get the uh, resin out of. But the rest of this has already been taken care of, so that's going to go away. Uh, the paths are in here to prevent the pine trees from spreading to places we don't want them to. So that's fine. I will put a lumberjack flag uh, right here. Actually should be able to reach, yep, all the ones I want cut down. So that guy's going to be okay. We'll let him do his thing. Again, these are marked. They're looking good. Uh, looks like most of the trees, actually all of them, with the exception of this half-done oak, are already cut down over here. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, get rid of this one lumberjack flag. And then we can start replacing this with some more storage for food. Um, this probably, probably, if this can be corn, this can probably stay as kohlrabi central over here. And then we can take the kohlrabis out of this area and plant other things that might be a little bit more useful, like uh, some more cassavas as well. So I'm going to go ahead, since we have so many kohlrabis, I'm going to unplant all of this as cassava or cassava as kohlrabi rather and then i will replant it as cassava we have one two three four five here and i have four right here which means this and this are going to get removed or unplanted i should say this could be our emergency kohlrabis at all times except for uh, bad tides we'll keep those in place there's not really any reason to get rid of those but uh, we clearly need to have some more cassavas because we don't have any that have not been fermented. We do have a decent stock of fermented ones, but we probably should be doing everything we can to increase that number. 
uh, as time goes on. So I will start by putting in some cassava in places that we have room for it. And we will continue moving down that path. As well as here, getting in the process of removing these, uh, what do you call these things? Berry bushes. So we can plant some other stuff here. This would be a good location for us to plant some eggplants. Because those grant three per tile. So we don't need as much space to plant these. They're going to have just absolute gobs of these things everywhere. Uh, once this is in place and they do take 12 days to grow so they're not going to dominate too much of our time from our farmers uh, most most of the farming of stuff that is not corn or kohlrabi will probably still be kept in this quadrant just because of how things are set up but i will go ahead and start planting eggplants here and we'll just fill this in as we have the ability to get all of that done now what this is going to mean is that Hello, Infuse. Uh, this gatherer flag is going to move. We're going to put them uh, further out toward the corner. In fact, I might even just put them in the corner, period, point blank. Uh, just put in three of these guys. Because now this is kind of set up in a way that makes sense. Um, these berries here and here I'm going to move. And it probably actually makes more sense for me to just put in... Actually, you know what? We're not cavemen, we have technology. Let's put this uh, this side, and then I can actually come in like so, right here, and that's gonna have massive berry storage, which means I can get rid of this, and then I can also get rid of this guy here for kohlrabi storage. We don't really need to have 1,700 kohlrabi stored. Yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll let him roll with that, and uh, that'll give us some more space to kind of uh, condense where the berries are being grown, and we'll see how that all works. I think the name of the game with this is just uh, maintaining consistency in making sure that everything is taken care of. We, we tend sometimes to ignore stuff until it becomes a huge problem that is going to be a pain to solve. So we definitely, definitely want to do as much as we can to avoid that moving forward. And of course, once our irrigation barriers are in place, we can plant corn all the way out here. Like you might have seen in the, uh, the thumbnail for the previous episode. I, I did do that to make the uh, image look a little bit better. But that is not falsifying what's happening. That is what I'm going to put in. In fact, you know, I might as well just do it now. Because I'm pretty sure we can have these irrigation barriers uh, completed before the next bad tide. We have at minimum probably another 10 days, which would give us a full growth cycle of the corn. So um, I'll tell you what, let's let's just do for right now this, because I do want to continue expanding this around. We have the ability to do so uh, based on how this is set up to transfer power. Uh, this currently is only drawing 34 because we don't have the materials to uh, really devote to uh, too much more going on here. But we do have canola oil being stored here. Uh, I can move this to where it belongs. And we can continue once all the rest of these are put in place. Uh, putting in irrigation barriers along this full side and this full side. So in keeping with that, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Oh, I guess it didn't like all of that. We'll do that and then I can remove all of these until we have the chance to get rid of this pine tree. Uh, which will be one of the things that... Oki from Fargo does for us. So we'll wait for them to take care of that. And we have 673 bad water. And oh, I got rid of the storage for the explosives. That was on me. That was something I should have uh, replaced immediately, but did not. Okay, that's my fault. But that's easily fixed. Uh, I'm, You know, I'm actually not going to put that there. I'm going to be smart because we have the ability to be intelligent. And I'm going to put this large warehouse here, and we're going to make that for explosive storage. We're probably going to need a lot of them uh, to take care of the rest of this. And also, it's really not that expensive to just build the huge capacity anyway. No real reason not to. So after after all of that uh, to do last time about, oh, we're not going to have kohlrabis planted here. Well, guess what? Because we have this taken care of, yeah, this is, um, this is going to be kohlrabi town. <laughs> so... We'll uh, we'll make that we'll make that work as we have to. But uh, this this part right here, uh, I do think we're going to unplant, and then uh, have the industrial stuff keep extending. All of this though, this is fair game. 
we'll uh, we'll re kohlrabi uh probably the majority of this just have to keep an eye on uh, everything else because this is actually looking pretty good here let's plant the rest of these cassavas gonna have to stay on top of it like i was saying uh they're in the process of building this large warehouse then we have the two gatherer flags here uh, these guys are looking good down here i've got room to put one more of these oak trees uh, make sure these are all marked for cutting and they are these are all in place these guys are gathering quite nicely and then we have to uh, go ahead and put in some additional earth here once we get to that point uh, i guess i could research the dirt excavator but uh, the problem with that is we don't have the treated planks or the gears and that's something we're going to have to fix uh, incrementally so last time uh, continuing down the path of things that we need to fix. Uh, I did say we were going to put in some more of these breeding pods. We currently have 10, and that's how many we had before. Our well-being is not quite high enough to justify not putting any more in if we want to grow, which we do, and we have the ability to sustain additional beavers. So let's go ahead and just add a couple of these at a time. I'll put two in right here, and then we'll be looking pretty okay uh, and then once they have this storage complete, I'm going to get rid of these two. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a single large warehouse right here. Since this is all going to have to, <clears throat> excuse me, move in one block. That'll fit right there. And then we'll have the uh, path uh, laid in the center like we were originally planning. Actually, you know what? Let's not do that. Let's prepare for this by moving... Moving this in, I think, makes sense to do that way. Yeah, we sh we really should be planning as much as we can when we uh when we get to stuff like this. There's no reason to continue a cycle of ignorance because that's the only thing you've ever known. It's good life advice too. Education is a good thing. Learning from different people is also a good thing. Don't have to agree with them. Just uh, have some basic respect. Goes a long way. Anyway, enough philosophy. Let's let's put these breeding pods in. Uh, get those guys going. I will uh, get those prioritized slightly so we can start growing more beavers because we're going to need them. They should be, should be pretty close relatively soon to take care of that. Um, we need to make sure we're planting our cassavas as we get there. Yeah, stuff is looking nice for that. We have, we have plenty of canola. That's not a problem. So that's good to see there. Uh, these are just about done. This one is done, and it's back to being harvested. Let's go into triple speed. And now we can finally have that completed, uh, which means... Oh, you know what? I could have done this earlier, but I didn't. Let's plant this as corn. That was fast. Uh, they can grab this in another half a day or so, and then we can blast this out. That'll give us a little bit more irrigation out to the corner here, and everything will be quite nice looking yeah we're making good progress here i think we can be happy with that so now we have this area continuing to be uh harvested for metal we have in these corners here is actually bad water kind of contained because of the structure of how everything is set up so that's something to consider as we keep moving forward we're going to have a little bit of pollution down here in this i guess middle ring you could call it so we'll need to make sure that we're uh, <clears throat> either blasting holes here so the bad water can flow out and then out here and then out here. Something to think about, but we're not quite there yet. I could, uh, I could actually put in some explosives right here, but uh, we need to make sure we're keeping uh, as much of that in the back of our mind as we can. This warehouse needs to be... Oh, I didn't set uh, berries. There we go. That takes care of that problem. That takes care of that problem. And this will take care of that problem. Let's put berries. Oh, you don't need 2,400 berries. You're absolutely correct. I don't need 2,400 berries. But there might come a time when we want 2,400 berries. And if that's the case, then I want to make sure that we have access to that. Remember, we're trying to make a giant colony. We're going to need the berries. We are going to need the berries. And if we have a sufficient enough supply of berries, it's possible we could just unplant all of the berry bushes because, let's not forget, we have advanced breeding pods that 
are also going to require the berries, but give us adult beavers. So they take the same amount of berries, but it actually gives us longer life of beavers. So in theory, we need fewer of them. I don't know. We'll see. We probably could pretty easily get away with having a much smaller uh, quantity of berries grown here. Just something to keep an eye on. Now we can plant substantially more cassava here. Keep care of that. Looking nicely there. Are we making any progress here? Uh, hopefully. I guess we are just waiting on uh, waiting on something to happen here. Yeah, pine resin being stocked. Planks. We have plenty, so I know that's not the problem. Yeah, making making progress here. Certainly, certainly making progress. Uh, I am going to go ahead and have this path go all the way around the outside. Uh, which I probably should go ahead and do for the rest of these, since we're already here. Yeah, well this just has a, a bunch of trees. I think I've already already unplanted that outer ring. I've actually already unplanted most of this. Because I think I was leaving space, yeah, I was leaving space for a ring of uh, of paths and then additional water pumps. So we know that's looking okay. Very nice. I still want to come up with a better solution than this <laughs> for this whole middle thing. Not entirely sure what the move is going to be for that, but we'll uh, we'll get it figured out. They do seem to be favoring this one over this one, so maybe we'll have to uh, put something else here. I don't know. I think I think the end goal is going to be to have this whole thing on platforms, or maybe we just levy this uh, center part and uh, figure out some sort of other way to handle all this. Like we could rotate the district center and then just have walls around this. I don't know. I don't think it's really going to be something we have to worry about. We have plenty of other things to uh, focus our time on. Plus, uh, we're probably about to the point where we can start actually building some of our fun stuff. And it's about time for another large barracks as well. So let's put that in. Now we're going to have a nice mass of beavers living over here. we got our swimming pools and we're uh, motivatoriums. we got to put those in at some point too. Now we're going to have to start asking questions about how we're going to use the rest of this space. So now I've got this here. This could be a good place to put some sort of storage or whatever to start freeing up farmland. But again, we have just so much time to uh, think about that moving into the future. Stuff is looking pretty good. Now, eggplants. We're probably getting kind of close to harvesting those. No? Okay. All right. My uh, sense of time, it seems, has been completely destroyed. Uh, we still have about eight days before we can get eggplants. But when we do get to that point, we're going to want to have these food factories in place. So let's go ahead and work toward that. Uh, put another one of these wheels in place. And then, of course, uh, for the sake of redundancy, I'm going to put this here as well. And what we're going to end up doing probably is having a bunch of these food factories. Uh, I, I, ha I like this kind of setup where we have the fermenter on the outside and then the uh, oil press right here. There is something to be said for uh, symmetry and the value thereof, but it is kind of unnecessary to have as many of these food factories as we do. I might just leave, I might just leave it like this where we have one here, one here, and then do the same thing over on this side, but have those for eggplants. And then maybe I could have two more for the algae, but we haven't gotten to that quite yet. Got to figure out a good place to put uh, all of that. But now we have space for our explosives, which means our explosives factory can get back to work doing that. Uh, we still have enough extract for the time being. Don't think that's an issue, but we will, of course, be keeping an eye on that. Um, let's see, what else? What else do we want to be looking at here? We've got some space to build. On top of this, uh, the way this is currently set up, I could put in another tank here, another tank here, but then I'd have space in the middle that we can't get to because of the design of these floodgates. Um, I do have the metal floodgates installed, but uh, I think this is still a better option for controlling the water because uh, this goes all the way up here to this level. And if we had the metal ones, then they'd still have the structure on the top. We'd, the only difference is we'd be able to build uh, platforms on top of them. I don't think that's, strictly speaking, necessary. I think we are okay just leaving this as is. 
and we can see what else happens. But I do think I want to have this kind of thing uh, copied all the way around the map once we get there. Now, as of right now, we have uh, storage space. We have sleeping space for 128 beavers. If we did this on all four sides, that would be 512, and that is halfway to my original goal of 1,000. So I think I think that should be manageable with the, uh, the speed and the resources my computer currently has. That might end up being the only housing we ever build, which would, I don't know, kind of be a shame for the purpose of utilizing space, but would give us plenty of beavers. And then maybe we can do something else fun. I don't know. Right. There's things to think about. Plant some more cassava here. That's looking fine. Yeah, that's working quite nicely. Uh, this actually can go ahead and uh, get replaced with the farmhouse. I will flip the doorway so it's on the path. There's no really no real reason to do that. I just kind of felt like that would be a fun thing to do. That's going to be... Yeah. Oh, okay, it needed one more. There we go. They're probably going to do half of it and then go to bed because apparently that's how this works. Oh, are they going to stick it out? All right, good job. Who is this? Oh Richard G, you are the real G. Thanks for that. Appreciate it. Getting that whole thing done. But now we can get our corn planted here again. And there we go. That's going to be really nice to have that much corn. And we have all of this space to plant more. I don't know that we're going to need that much. But we have the option, and that is going to be really nice. So what we could also do, since this space is so close to our large barracks, uh, once we have a little bit better handle on how stuff is set up, actually, I, I keep pausing. I, I really don't need to do it this way, but I have the burning urge to uh, <laughs> to get rid of these uh, bushes while I have the opportunity. Man, they're just attacking those things like gangbusters. All right. So that's going in there. That's going to go in there with more eggplants. We'll probably have more eggplants than we will ever need uh, once everything else is taken care of here. Yeah, but every every little bit closer we get to having just a completely uh, dominant food supply is another moment we get close to being able to build the really fun stuff, like the mega structures. We have all these decoration blocks too. Like, don't forget, we can we can build some cool looking stuff. We just need to be a little bit smarter at how we deal with uh, deal with the little things, you know? So let's grab these. Put some more eggplants in place as those are done. There we go. Yep, just keeping on top of stuff really does make a difference. So now we've harvested most of the berries. In fact, all of them except for the ones in this corner. And we have a thousand berries stored. So that's looking okay. Uh, let's not forget to put in some additional uh, beaver breeders here. We'll put these last two in. Uh, I can unpause this forester so they can replant all those trees. That's looking good. Let's also not forget to put these paths back in. Since we've uh, abandoned <laughs> since we've abandoned putting these uh, ditches in here, we've got to fill those back in at some point. Yep, there we go. Looking nice. Let's grab these bushes out. Plant these eggplant plants. There we go. So now we have uh, reduced the amount of berries. Uh, I don't think it's going to be too few for us to deal with, especially since they're only being used to make additional beavers. But now I've got beavers that don't have jobs. So you know what that means. It means I can turn some of these buildings back on. Yeah, we've got, uh, well, this isn't really a problem. But uh, do I have any of these that are doing cassavas that I've paused? No. Uh, I'm going to turn the, uh, what do you call these things? Gear workshops? Yeah. I'm going to turn those back on. We also need to make storage for gears because right now we don't have any. That's something that can go in a large warehouse. Something that probably should go in a large warehouse. So what I'm going to do, since we don't really have anywhere else to put it right now, uh, I'm either going to put it here I'm going to put it up here. I, th I think it probably should, for the sake of uh, being, uh, be right there. Have a nice big storage. I know it's not super close, but we've got enough beavers now. I don't think it matters. So that's looking good. And I did say we we're going to expand our industrial stuff, but we also have the option to do that up here. And we should start having eggplants pretty soon. What's uh, 73%? Okay, so, oh, these are all in place. 
That's good. I'm hoping... Uh, actually, since this is a... Oh, that's a letter. I can't put that there. I'm hoping that the bad water won't go through the corner here. This joint right there. I don't think it will. Uh, we'll see what happens. Now, since we have... Oh, I, I have not been uh, keeping track of all that. We've got to put that in place. We're also going to need to uh, extend this further down this way and then uh, this way as well. Uh, this pine tree I'm no longer going to worry about. I'm just going to tell them to get rid of it. And then that will solve that problem. Get that done. But I do need to have a storage for the treated planks. And that's going to be a pile. Uh, the way this is set up actually would not, would not be the worst option to have just uh, storage parked on top of all this. So if... Oh yeah, this is going to have to move... Um, Actually, you know what? This could just change to treated planks for right now. Because we're not going to worry about keeping this bad water free for the time being. That doesn't require us to do any more weird stuff to keep track of stuff over here. So that's alright. Yeah, judging by the fact that this is not irrigated and uh, the water is right here, I think we can safely assume that uh, this corner is going to be bad tide proof. It's all looking... Uh, oh, you know what I didn't do? You know what I didn't do? I didn't I didn't blast this down. Oh, that was a blunder. Let's uh let's get these guys to uh, pop this in place then we'll rebuild the farmhouse cuz I I need that last bit of irrigation. I was wondering why that wasn't irrigated in the corner cuz it should have been based on the uh, 3 by 3 being uh, the way it is. Yeah, let's um let's get this done, shall we? We got some uh stuff to do here. Then I can put these two right there. Yeah, we're making good progress. So the next thing we're going to want to do is uh, moving in on this edge, I think. Uh, this side isn't really going to matter so much because we, we only just have this kind of auxiliary area of the cassavas. But we are catching up slowly but surely. We have plenty of canola seeds, plenty of canola oil, so that's looking nice. And then eventually we're going to do this too. I just made room for that because we had the ability to uh, utilize that space. All right, we are looking looking pretty good, pretty good. That can be blown up. Drought approaching. Okay, better than a bad tide for sure, at least for right now. Let's put that in place and then I will put the farm back on top. It remembered my flipping from the last time. That's pretty cool. So that's looking good. We have some nice storage for corn that we kind of don't need because it can't grow fast enough. Uh, but we will eventually have more corn growing all over the place here. Uh, we just haven't really needed a reason to uh, grow anymore right now because we have plenty of rations. That has not been an issue. So that's going to be fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and plan this out. This has to go here. Actually, no, I don't even have to do it that way. I can just come in with our platform like this and then put another one here. And then, since we have so many of these planks lying around, just go ahead and build both of these. Put in a food factory here and here. Put in our oil press here. Put in our fermenter here. And there we go. That's going to be really nice taken care of there. Platform here. Come on, click in the right spot. Thank you. And straight power shaft. That is going to be nice. And then we can, of course, have other buildings in the intermediary uh, like some more fermenters. The hydroponic gardens don't require power. The coffee brewery does. And I think that is going to be one of the other things we're going to grow over here in this area or in one of the areas that has a forester. So what if what if this entire quadrant right here was coffee beans? What if we did that? In fact, we can already we can already plant those. I don't have any uh, I don't have any space for a gatherer flag, so maybe maybe that's something that should be over here. But I don't have a forester. Eh, this is closer to those other things anyway. So let's um let's just do that, shall we? Seems like kind of a, a fun, adventurous thing. Plant those coffee bushes. They do take uh, 12 days before yielding beans. But if we did that, then we would have the ability to come in with our uh, 
our coffee breweries. We do have the science. And I can put one of those here. One of these here. The nice flipping makes everything very symmetrical. In fact, this hasn't been built yet, so now I can, uh, I can put this back in. There we go. Look at that, folks. That's going to look nice. Now let's pause here so I can uh, let my brain catch up with my eyes. If I were to do this, it's not perfect. Not perfect. That's actually probably not too smart what I've done with this, but uh, that is going to allow us, if we do that, to have... Uh, Four of these fermenters right here with maybe a little bit of space for smaller storage. Uh, some more canola oil, possibly, although I do have that one right there. We're going to have other opportunities for power, especially if we can get uh, stuff moved across the way here or across the channels with the help of uh, additional wheels here. But I think this is a pretty decent start. If you disagree, please uh, leave a comment. And tell me what you think about this. I might not see it before the next episode I record of this. Depends on how uh, how time it goes. But I think this is going to be a good uh, a good thing for us. And I will put this uh, power shaft turn connecting these two in the middle. And that will make sure they can share power appropriately. Give us all sorts of uh, fun there. But we are making we are making power, folks. And that's looking nice. Uh, the eggplant ration, eggplant ration. Now I can hear you say, wait. You have 1.2 days before a drought comes, and then you're not going to have any power at all except for your engines. But, ye of little faith, the almighty flywheel is an option for us in these trying times. And we have the amazing ability to put these anywhere we choose to hook up to our network. All we have to do is provide a connection to something, and they work underwater. And it'll be quite lovely to have those for us. We have the framed flywheels that uh, are going to lose a little bit less power. The holy grail of these, obviously, is the large vertical framed flywheel. But they take a ton of resources to make. The medium ones are going to be a little bit more accessible. And currently, I have the resources to build, uh, looks like, two of these. And they have a capacity of 15,000 HPH, horsepower hours, or whatever you want to call that, the unit of power measurement. So I was thinking... We could build a couple of these. Just unlock this. We have the science. We're we are going to have to turn this science back on. Uh, but this will be relatively doable if we just uh, take off, uh, like say, this guy on the end. Or for the purposes of how this is currently going, since we don't have the coffee, we're not firmly wedded to this at this exact moment in time. We could take this out and just put the uh, medium ones here. Since these aren't actually built yet, I'm probably tempted to do that. And that is what I will do for right now. Remember, when we do, when we get rid of stuff, we will recover most of the materials, so it's not going to be not going to be that big of a deal. So that should take care of these two. If I make those the utmost priority, uh, get those wound up, hopefully last a little bit through the drought. Remember, this is normal mode. We're not going to have 30 day droughts or anything. So that's looking okay. And we have the other options over here because of how this is set up. Uh, I'm probably honestly just going to build another engine because now these guys have uh, three-sided connectivity. Not going to be an issue there. We just have to make sure that we put things in uh, appropriate places, which uh, we could move two of these fermenters over here. And I don't have to make this any sort of a priority because, well, I will make it a tiny one because you know we're still trying to build these. But this will give us 1,200 HP. That should be enough to run most of this essential stuff during a drought, especially now that our food situation is what it is. And we'll see. I should have built. I should have built these a lot earlier. I should have built them a whole lot earlier. But uh, you know, it is what it is. I I did just now remember we have we have the one day. So as, as long as we can build at least one of these, uh, we'll have a little bit of power to uh, take care of the rest of our food related needs yeah so let's uh yeah get over here and start building this stuff bud let's go got 40 metal 20 gears 40 planks there they come all right so they're working there i'm gonna unpause all of our builders huts and they're gonna take away from all the other stuff that has been deprioritized get this built come on you're almost there almost there just need somebody to bring those last two metal blocks and finish it up. And this thing can charge 
all night long. Oh, and look at that. It is charging. It is charging. I'm going to help it charge by pausing all of these. Then we can see that glorious thing start spinning up. Is it going to get to 15,000? No. Should I have done it earlier? Yes. So uh, feel free to levy those complaints against me. But uh, I think we are going to be in some, some little bit of a decent shape here. Well, now that... Oh, I didn't have this paused. Oops. Well, hey, we've got a... <laughs> we, got, we got a little bit of power. And I guess that's all we can ask for. So before we get too comfy cozy here, uh, these are going to get brought up to 2.0. I, we do need to automate these, and that's something that uh, we will do here in a second. But let's get that taken care of. That'll trap the rest of our water here at least somewhat. I know there's still the... Uh, little weirs around the outside that we haven't messed with, but that will stop the flow out the center. And everything's looking pretty hunky-dory. And we get this uh, we get this ghost power thing happening here. Alright, seven day drought. And it's still, believe it or not, still charging. I'm just I'm gonna let this charge until these stop and then we'll turn our uh, buildings back on. So we are looking pretty good. No complaints. That is still charging. That is, that's pretty cool. These are still looking good. Uh, these engines, oh, I never turned these off, did I? Okay. Well, that's okay. Still charging. Still charging. I love the, um... Oh, what's that? What's that mod called? The um, smart power or whatever? I love this. This is fantastic. Tells you a connected battery charge, and uh, charge or discharge rate. So that's fun and exciting. This guy's got some power for eggplants, and we do have eggplants. We have 118. Yeah, I told you we're gonna have a ton of eggplants, so we needed to have some sort of capacity to actually produce those. So this is now more or less reached equilibrium. I'm going to turn one of these on, corn ration factories on, so this doesn't discharge quite so fast. And then we'll see uh, what happens as a result of that. But uh, we have coffee bushes that are growing, and at some point we will have enough to uh, make our coffee brewery here. This, oh, I should, I should select... Uh, something for this. This was making soybeans. This should probably also be doing soybeans. Actually, this should probably all over here all be soybeans. But then I can make this into uh, cassava processing. Oh no, I got 500 some soybeans that haven't been uh, haven't been done. We might we might have too many soybeans. Don't don't quote me on this. We might possibly We'll have to conduct a research and find out. This is looking uh, considerably better here. This is... Oh, did he uh, get all those? All right, cool. So that can go away and we can replant our kohlrabis here. At least on this one part. Uh, unplant all of that. Looking better. Yeah, we're, uh, we're making it work. Making stuff work here. And uh, we are... Uh, we are operating at some degree of power input. That seems to be a seems to be something, I suppose. So I uh, obviously long term we're going to want a better solution than just having these uh, medium framed flywheels here. But they are a glorious invention by the fabled Battery Smooth over on Amon.io Beard Booster as well. So appreciate the support in both the game and out of the game from Battery Smooth there. But yes, great mod. Love it to pieces. It is a fantastic part of our uh, our fun here. So I, I, did, I did say I was going to plant some more corn, but I, we don't need it. We don't need it yet. This is a whole bunch of space we can well, either not build anything on until we need it or uh, just, I don't know, go crazy putting a whole bunch of nonsense down. Our biggest priority probably should be during this uh, drought period to put as many of these irrigation barriers in place as we can. Uh, this, almost this whole side is done. And we're going to have to 
Um, I, you know, I probably should remove these and replace them with two, two tall platforms, but there's not really any reason to. I can just put, I just put these other ones on top. Not going to be that big of a deal. So what's going to have to happen here is both sides of this are going to have to be uh, ladderified right here so we can put our uh, irrigation barrier underneath. So that's going to be something. Let's go ahead and do that since we have this space already taken care of. Our ladder is going to be on that side. That's going to work out quite nicely there. And then uh, the way that this is set up, this might seem kind of dumb for me to put the ladder in that way because that's going to block off the backside. But uh, this is going to be entirely uh, irrigation barrier anyway. So that's not going to be a problem. We'll just have to work around stuff as we get into it. All of these uh, builder's huts are going to go away. And we're going to start moving stuff in. So, um, yeah. These two breeding pods are going to have to be relocated if we want to keep this medium tank here. Or we could just you know, get rid of it. Doesn't really matter. We've got plenty of water storage and we're going to keep on uh, doing so just fine. Just need to keep track of what we're doing so you don't get confused. Oh, that was the wrong button. I want this. There we go. Look at us. Look at us. We're making stuff happen here. So now this is uh, going to need a path on the top. Okay. Now that can be gone. That can be gone. We can put in our irrigation barrier. That's going to be looking nice. Very good. Very good. So now this is in place here. Um... Let me count this again. I got two. This is going to be three, four, five, six, seven here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So this is actually still in the correct spot. Uh, but this, this breeding pod probably needs to move to be here. I'm going to put three in right here. And I'll tell you what we'll do is we will stick that there. Yeah, my uh, my thinking out loud process is not always the most uh, most efficient or smart way of getting stuff done, but it does in fact get stuff done. Whether that stuff is productive or an embarrassment is up to you to decide, <laughs> but but we've we've gotten some good stuff done. Uh, so halfway through halfway through the drought, mouth moving faster than my brain could keep up. Uh, we are more or less out of power in our flywheel. I figured that would happen, but hey, I, this is still technically turning. We have tons of corn. Uh, eggplant rations are slowly, uh, I guess, being made. We'll get this figured out, and I will, uh, before the next drought, have uh, flywheels put in some other better location. I'm going to keep track of these guys, remove them, and then transition that over to here and then I can put this in place then I can put large tanks here because I think that would be a better usage of our uh, space and resources just need to make sure we're not going too far out of our bounds and it's also about time to build some more um, some more of these guys large barracks we just have to decide exactly where that's going to go I'm going to vote for this side right here we can start redoing how this is set up but we uh we have quite the opportunity to uh do things that make sense we don't have to do dumb things just because my brain doesn't work sometimes we have technology all right so this is just about done that's done cool so that means that now we're just waiting on this guy Although I, I really don't need to wait for this. I just thought it would make sense to uh, to do that. So we have enough water storage. I can just go ahead and get rid of this. Move our path down here. Get rid of that. And then eventually this is going to cut through here. Uh, but this... Uh, I, I should have just left that one in. Uh, this is going to be like a little island for our large warehouse for berries. Which actually probably should be ticked for haulers. Yes, there we go. And then I'm going to have space here for either 
uh, campfires or large tanks to store water or extract for when we eventually go over to the advanced breeding pods. But now we're about to have some homeless beavers, so let's take it upon ourselves to put in... Uh, I guess I'll do two of those to start uh, large barracks right here, right here. And then uh, what did we do on this side? We put in... Uh, oh yeah, those scratching posts. Yeah, that's a fun little way to uh, do stuff. Uh, a couple of you left comments saying, hey, you don't have, everything doesn't have to be um, uh, symmetrical. And yeah, I know, but it is still kind of fun to do it that way, isn't it? I like to think so. So this is going to be water storage here. We'll make that happen. Now, before we get too far, let's pause. Do I have... Oh yeah, you know what? I can actually, right now, right now I can choose to uh, just do this whole thing in one fell swoop. Because we have the wood, and it's it's only wood. There we go. I've been getting away from this for a really long time. But now I think it's time to actually, you know, get it done. So we can make sure everything is good to go. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to come in from this side. Remember, we're doing the three on the outside. And then if we want to later, we can do this the other way. But for right now, I think this is fine. Until we start actually using these outside ones for any amount of a tree growing or whatever, this will work just fine. Keep things separated like they're supposed to be. This is already done. So this corner would be completely done. That would make it easier for us to work. Uh, this side, um, right now, right now I think is probably fine. I, I left this open so we could irrigate our mangroves. Uh, how many did I come in? I had three, and then I had three here. So I'll tell you what. We have the ability to make it work. I'll do these three as... Nope, not that one. Regular levees. There we go. Alright, so now all they have to do is just build that stuff. Actually, you know what? We might as well go for broke. No reason not to, unless I'm actually setting myself up for some sort of a crisis later on, which would not surprise me. There we go. Looking good, looking good. Alright, so that gives our builders plenty of stuff to accomplish. Um, I believe they can build most of this without any sort of, uh, any sort of worry here. Um, I need to plant the rest of these as coffee bushes here. Yeah, let's just get that going. All this is going to be coffee before too long. Alright, so, that's looking good. Uh, I have not forgotten as we approach uh, 48, 49 minutes on our clock here, I have not forgotten about automating these outside gates. They just have to have uh, additional, uh, what are these things called? Stream gauges. Water alarms, 11 high stream gauges. I always forget that's part of that mod. But let's, oh, I got to think carefully about how I'm going to put this in here. I guess it doesn't, strictly speaking, have to be in the middle here, but... Uh, I might as well, maybe, I'll, oh, I won't put it in that one. I'll put it in one of these that I'm not using because it sh theoretically should be equal. But once once that's done, we'll be okay. I can't believe this is still making power. That's so funny. Actually, let's um, let's prioritize this one just so we can mess with this while they're still building the rest. I think we're going to be A-OK. -okay. Now, why are we not running? Huh. Okay, well, maybe I should have uh, hauler prioritized some of those. That's probably what I should have done. Okay, this one's almost, almost there. All right, this is built. Let's take this out of triple speed just so I can hear myself think. Um, this is going to be attached to... This stream gauge, pause so we don't do stupid things. All right, so we're going to contamination percentage this because the idea is that when this becomes contaminated and these shut, these should shut before this registers contamination. 
So this needs to be set to uh, above high contamination. Should be, come on, let me click, please. Thank you. Should be zero. Below low contamination, height should be, no, that's the wrong slider. Height should be uh, 1.5. I guess we'll do, yeah, try and keep stuff inside. Uh, so below, below 1%, wait, hold on. Below, uh, this always breaks my brain. I know you guys keep explaining it to me. I'm sorry, I just don't understand programmer language. Uh, 1%, below 1%, it's at 1.5. So when it's clear water, it's good. When it's bad water, it's the opposite of that. So I think we'll uh, we'll leave that as it is. And then just set this to there again. Low threshold one. Yes. All right, so those two are done. And then, oh, we also, we want to ignore during a drought. We want the default height to be two. I think, I hope, I hope that's set correctly. Let's, uh, let's try the rest of this. I'm going to have to, yeah, I'm going to have to click to add that. Disable during drought, default height two. Tick this, tick that. 1%. Then we'll do the same thing over here. Disable during drought. It's going to be really funny when this is wrong and it results in some sort of completely preventable cataclysm. Yeah, absolutely hilarious stuff right there. Okay, uh, can I click from here? I probably can. Yes, there we go. Na, 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 na. Same deal. Did I actually have to have this pause to do this? Eh, probably not, but uh, you know how this works. If I don't have to worry about bad things happening while I'm doing this, then I'm probably going to make fewer mistakes. Probably. No guarantee. But now this is... Oh, I didn't tick disable during drought, so I need to do that. Okay, so just need to make sure that's done. It was the outside one, right? Yes, okay, that one is also done. These should be, just double check my insane stuff here. All right, so that is set, looks to be at least. So we should see at the end of this drought, we should see those open slightly to uh, 1.5. So we'll keep an eye on that and then see what's happening there. And of course, I, I zoom in on this and then I wait because I thought it was going to be a lot shorter <laughs> of a period of time than it was. Oh, that's fine. We're having a good time. So we should see two things happen here. We should see these spring open and we should see these open just a tiny bit. Yeah, there we go. That's exactly what we wanted to happen. Let's just check and make sure these are all set there. It looks like they are. Yes, and they're out of power. That's uh, to be expected. That's fine. Yeah, uh, I think we successfully automated these, so we can be happy about that. Water is coming back in. There we go. There we go. Looking nice. Uh, rotating everything here also looking good. And this is just about done breeding us another beaver here. And yeah, stuff's looking good. Let's turn this back on. Turn all of these back on. Uh, get that guy done. Yeah, we are. We're looking good, folks. We are looking good. They're going to be building these things. They're already working on some of this. We've made some great progress today. I am very, very happy with this. Just really stupendous stuff. Okay, and that's done. So that means now that we can do this, you know what? You know what? I'm feeling a little charitable today. Uh, let's continue this a little bit more here. We're only at about 53, 54 minutes, depending on how much loading time took at the beginning of this. So why don't, why don't we just try and get a little bit more done? Because I know in real life it's going to be at least a week and a half, maybe two weeks before I pick this back up, and I want to make sure I leave this in a good spot. This is all looking really good. We've got uh, 
More need for treated planks. Gotta get these guys going. Which it's uh, not because we don't have pine resin. We definitely do. It's not because we don't have planks. We definitely do. But we need to get that uh, fixed a little bit more. And we're running low on wood. Which normally would not be a problem in, I guess, kind of isn't. We just haven't been fully employing these guys. So we do want to make sure we are uh, keeping up with all of that stuff. Got a couple more coffee bushes to plant. Let's try to keep up with all of that. Uh, we're waiting on treated planks, of course, because uh, they're focusing on all of this. Now, I probably, probably should have uh, built this as the next one. But I already made the uh, made the changes down here. I guess I don't need to worry about putting the irrigation barriers here yet because the trees are already only planted here anyway. So instead, what I think I will do, yeah, we need um, we need more scrap metal, and I'm about to have extra beavers. So why don't we uh, why don't we just add some more of these scavenger flags? Put in three more of these. How about that? Because uh, that's looking good. We got scrap metal storage here that isn't really doing anything. Metal blocks. I guess. I mean, 35 is enough for us to build a few uh, a few more of these large tanks, which we probably need to do. So why don't we, uh, in the interest of getting everything squared away, let's put in. Can I? Oh, I can almost. I could almost put in more of these. But uh, I'm not going to have enough space to put, or space, I'm not going to have enough stuff to do three of these. But we're going to want to have storage for water, for sure. And this is tree growing, uh, coffee growing, and um, breeding pods. So water here is uh, important. I wonder if I should turn one of these around. I probably should uh, for water storage. Yeah, let's, let's turn one of these around right here. So that could be water and water. Plenty of storage for that. Uh, we're eventually going to want extract storage over here, but for right now, that's not really the biggest priority. We just want to have spaces to put water. So that's going to be good there. Uh, we're going to have space on the side here for some medium warehouses carrying other things, but I don't think we really need to worry about that quite yet. Oh, if I took this path out, I could have four of these, but I, I kind of like having this here. I think that's probably fine we can be A-OK -okay with that. So I guess we can let that go. Um, I probably should focus on moving moving this in one more, but I think uh, where we are now with our food is uh, more than fine. More than fine. So I need to find uh, some spots to put additional, uh, additional lumberjack flags. We have plenty of, uh, plenty of trees to get cut down and not a whole lot of beavers to do them. So are any of these remotely close to being cut down, or am I going to have to uh, gonna have to sacrifice? I mean, it's not like we're hurting for wood. So I'll tell you what. I will just get rid of these. I know there's probably a better strategy to put these closer to the outside, but uh, the way this is set up now, symmetry is nice. It's not necessary, but uh, I do think things that look nice should be celebrated. And we have all this space. It, there's no reason to minimax space or be hyper concerned about spatial efficiency or whatever. This is a big map. And as of now, we've pretty much conquered the food problem, at least for the size of beavers that we have. And I think we can be, uh, we can be a little uh, adventurous or fun in the way this stuff is set up. Live a little bit, right? Yeah, so once they take care of these trees that don't need to be here, we'll put in more lumberjack flags and we'll uh, probably need to find a space to put some uh, some tree storage, log storage, what have you. Oh, you know what? This isn't prioritized because they've been trying to <laughs> been trying to build all this other stuff. Ah, all right, well, I'll tell you what. What I should have done is I should have put, uh, put more large tanks here. I know I'm not going to have the metal for it, I guess I will just let them build these uh, as they are, and then we can build some more. But we definitely want to have water storage up here since that's going to be such an important thing. And we already have uh, canola oil storage, that's fine. 
this coffee brewery, we don't have beans yet, but we're probably going to. Oh yeah, very soon. Very, very soon going to have some beans that need to uh, be stored somewhere. So actually, actually, let's do coffee bean storage right there. And then, oh, you know what I can do is I can make one of these, one of these water, one of these coffee. Let's, uh, let's do that. Let's do that. That sounds like fun. Then I can have, uh, <laughs> oh, I can have uh, some other fun storage for that. Yeah, why not? Let's, uh, let's do that. What did I have? Uh, this one's water, this one's coffee, which means this one's going to be water and this one's going to be coffee. Do I need to have 2,400 coffee storage? No. Am I going to? Yes. <laughs> it's as simple as that. You got to have, you got to be able to have fun. Got to be able to have fun. All right, let's prioritize our coffee brewery here. Get that put in place. So now I have, uh, oh, this isn't built yet. Waiting on treated planks. I guess I could prioritize that. Because uh, I want this whole side to be completely taken care of. This also needs to be done. So let's get our uh, let's get our stuff figured out this way. Yeah, we're looking good. Looking good, folks. We are making it happen. It is amazing how much more fun this game is when you're not completely just doing stupid garbage. It, it truly is. Alright, so we should now... Uh, treated planks, I don't know why. I mean, I know why we don't have treated planks. It's because we've been just going gangbusters on these things. Trying to uh, put all of these, all these irrigation barriers in place. But we're finally, finally getting to the point now where we can actually uh, make some good progress here. And I, I do need to... I do need to prioritize at least a couple of these so we can actually put our uh, our woodcutters in. These guys probably could also use the help. We have we have two gatherer flags. We probably actually need to have those two. Um, which of these are closest? I guess it doesn't really matter. I'll tell you what I will do is I will just go ahead and get rid of those two middle ones uh, and then put one here, one here. Should be able to keep us pretty uh, pretty well in line with all that. Okay, what are we uh, what are we at here? If we put those in? No. 13 out of 25. We probably need to have some more, some more wood workshop stuff going on. Um, yeah, we want, we want this definitely to be going because now we're actually making a little bit less power than we actually need. There we go. Now we're back up where we want. We have this space down here. This probably, I mean, we have the engines, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. But uh, we probably should have a couple more of these uh, smelters down here. We're still working on building up our uh, roster of beavers. So that's looking, uh, okay, look at this coffee. Look at this, look at this coffee. I haven't forgotten that we have to put a gatherer flag in either. Don't worry, don't worry. We're going to put... Oh yeah, I could put it on the uh, long side. I'll put one of those there. I think one should be okay for the uh, the purposes of the coffee. I might do a second one right here. But I will go ahead and put... Yeah, I'll put that right there. That should be fine. It'll give us something else to do. Employ these beavers, etc. Looking good, looking good. Yeah, we're getting close on the treated planks. I should, should, the way this is set up. Uh, oh, you know what I should have done is I should have built a giant tank for the uh, bad water, but we haven't run out yet. We seem to be doing uh, just fine in that regard. So these are uh, not technically connected the way this is set up. We're gonna be uh, gonna be working on it. These are fully charged, which is nice. So I don't think we actually need to worry about uh, power concerns here. I just have to figure out how to connect stuff. Now, if I were really smart, what I would do is I would bury these under. Oh, you know what? I still can. 
I absolutely still can do that. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of that. That's what I should have been doing. Oh, I gotta get more gotta get more science going. Do I have the science? Oh, uh, no, I don't. Okay. Well, maybe that's a next time thing whenever I get around to recording the next episode of this. That would be uh, that would be something if I could do. Uh, yeah, if I could bury these underneath our uh, our food factories, that would actually store enough power to get us through a drought. If I, every single one of these food factories had a horizontal frame flywheel underneath it, but that's something we can do next time. We are starting to run out of time here. We're we're going to go until the uh, reveal of the next cycle, or I guess the start of the next cycle, we could say. Let's see if I can get a few more beavers in here working on stuff. Just want to get that uh, get that going. We need storage for eggplant rations, and that's something um, I think. Yeah, we're gonna want to have we're gonna want to have food storage. So we should be using. Uh, oh, we don't have enough planks. I, yeah, we've been going absolutely nutso on these planks here. Which, uh, that was a problem I said I was going to solve and did not. So, uh, feel free to start the, uh, the angry tirades now, if you, uh, if you so choose. Because we are, uh, we are really, really going through planks here. It's like, I gotta find somewhere, gotta find somewhere to put this stuff. So, let's see, we have... Hold on, I just skipped right past that. This is making soybeans. This is making soybeans. All these are making soybeans, so I'll tell you what. Uh, the way this is set up... I'll get rid of those two. I know this is not really solving the problem. This is just putting lipstick on a pig, but... We'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, we don't have excess cassava. Uh, we do have excess soybeans, but we don't have excess soybean storage, so... That's going to solve our problems there. This will go away. Uh, then this can become... Yeah, that can become a lumber mill. That'll help us solve our problems. Just a little bit. Put in a, a couple more of these things. And since these are paused... This is... Oh, that's soybeans anyway. Yeah, see? I'm not completely dumb. Not, uh, completely. Although you would be forgiven for thinking otherwise. There we go. There we go. That's gonna... That's gonna get us somewhere. Whether or not it's good, I guess, is up to debate. But that will, uh, certainly get us going somewhere. We are currently producing almost enough power. I really need to replace these with the uh, the large ones, but I uh, failed failed to redo that. The, this will be a next time thing. Uh, I don't know if you're going to see this episode by the time I record the next one, but uh, let's hope that I remember <laughs> to do the large ones on this side next time. We just have to get ourselves out of this plank hole. Oh, you know what? I uh... okay, that can, that can go away. That can go away. We'll we'll just. Uh... We'll just uh, pop this in. Yeah, this um, very obviously is not an ideal situation. I did, <laughs> I did, I did not think of this uh, quite correctly, but it is what it is. Now we should see our plank output really, really start to jump here. All right, that's looking good, looking good. Now I can think about solving the problem of what to store food-wise works. We have uh, we have kohlrabi's here. We have. Fermented cassavas, we have fermented soybeans. Uh, this is explosives, that's not food. Uh, but my corn storage is over here. Uh, you know, honestly, it should be over here. Let's um let's move. Let's move that over here. I will do corn storage and I will do eggplant storage over here as well. Um, in order to help us with that, I will get rid of that. Uh, I'm going to also at some point need to move this gear storage, but there's no reason to get rid of it right now because we're not currently planning on putting these in. We're not going to have the treated planks to do that anytime soon either. So we'll let them take care of that. Boy, these haulers sure are uh, working hard. We're going to need a second hauling post pretty soon. But that is probably a next time uh, problem to solve. So this is 
going to need some coffee. It has four in there. This coffee has ten. So we are going to need to replace uh, this with another coffee brewery at some point. But for the time being, uh, Sebastian's making the coffee for us. It's working pretty well. Got some more room for coffee bushes. Let's make that happen. And now I can actually put the rest of these... Uh, what do you call these things? Guys that cut down trees. There you go. <laughs> and as I thought, this one... Hey, Beans. Uh, speak <laughs> Beans Universe Gathering Coffee Beans. It's found his true calling. Uh, but now we are looking pretty good here. Um, we're up to 14 well-being. In fact, why don't we... Uh, wind tunnels need power. Uh, exercise Plaza is 400. Let's think about uh, somewhere to put something like that. Um, how big is this again? Let's research. Is that going to fit? Oh, you know what? Oh, man, that is... <laughs> it's not going to work everywhere, but um, up to 16. Nice. I believe. I, oh, I don't have the I don't have the planks for this anyway. Does this require planks? To, oh, of course it does. And metal that I don't uh, really have. Well, uh, we will get there. We're making planks. Uh, if I don't need gears, I can actually shut the gears off for a little bit. Let's um. Let's shut off. Uh, all but two of these gear factories. I need the wood workshops to keep making the stuff to put our barriers in. Unless these are all done, in which case I will shut them off. Well, it looks like the ones that I've put down are all done. Okay, well, in that case, I know this is probably not how I should be doing this, but um, I'll leave one of those. Now we can start building up our planks. There we go, there we go. Look at this. Look at us go. We're getting stuff done. This is such a good place to put an exercise plaza, although it kills me that it's not centered. That is, um, yeah, truly unfortunate, but but it is a good way to fill the space. So I just have to decide which side of center I want this. I guess I'll go left. Uh, that's fine. Then I'm going to have room here to put something. Uh, maybe we need to put something here. Maybe we don't. Right now, I think this is probably fine. All right. Yeah, we're making great progress. We have made such good progress today. I'm very happy with this. Could have gone so many different directions, none of which... Uh, well, I shouldn't say none of which would have been positive, but very, very possible that this ends poorly, I guess we should say. Are these guys pumping... Well, they're pumping... Uh, we need to start pumping more water, which is going to be uh, an interesting problem for us to solve. I'm going to see if Beans, assuming it's still Beans, yes, can uh, keep up with this all by himself. If not, we'll put another one here. But we need to uh, make sure we are expanding our pathways out, because this is supposed to connect around the edge. Let's not forget. And then we could possibly even put a couple more of these in at some point, but I do want them to make sure they are taking out uh, all of this stuff. Let's unplant everything that doesn't have to be planted here. Oh, you know what? This was not supposed to be planted as coffee beans. This was definitely not supposed to be planted as coffee beans. Let's unplant these because they are going to die during the next bad tide. Uh, we did find that out. I, I should not have built that there. Well, this is eventually probably going to be all breeding pods. This will be our little breeding pod district. That's uh, that's fine. But I, I do need to start uh, putting more of these guys. And they don't need to be here either. They need to be further out to the corners. That was going to be the whole thing I was doing, was <laughs> setting it up. Oh, look, we got a bad tide coming. So that'll be a fun, uh, fun cliffhanger for the next episode, whenever that might be. I just wish we were doing a little bit better with our metal production. I mean, I, I really can't complain. Like, this is about as good as it can get. Uh, bad Tide, unfortunately... Wait, why is all the... Uh, why is all the water going out not where we want it to? I guess... I guess that's my fault, actually, for the way this was set up. I probably should 
have raised these to two. This disabled during drought, disabled during a temperate. No, I don't want that. I just want this to be uh I mm. okay, so maybe it wasn't the perfect idea doing it like this, because I do need water to come through here. So maybe, maybe I shouldn't have uh, done it the way I did. But hey, we have an exercise plaza now. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Get in there. Do your stuff. We got a little back scratchers. All right, let's, let's take a second to think here. You know, people sometimes will say, why do you pause when you're thinking? Well, it's because I don't want anything to get worse. And we, are, we do have a bad tide coming. Let's not, uh, let's not forget that. But if I were to close this... Uh, the automation is clearly not perfect. If I disabled this during temperate, it would always be at 2. I want the height to be 2. If I disable during temperate, it would always be at 2 during a temperate season, which includes the time period that the bad water is being flushed out at the beginning of a temperate season. We do not want that. So right now, having this at 1.5 is actually good. But it ne I need to be able to set this higher than 1.5 so that the water can actually come out of this side of the uh, this side of the thing here. So I wonder if I wonder if this is a thing where I actually do want some of these to be closed off, like this, like this right here. I need water to come in through here, and I need this to be filled up. But I don't, I don't want the rest of the water to go somewhere else. I don't know, I feel like that's kind of what I was doing the first time I had this this one set to uh, always be at height 2. Because that would either force uh, all of this to be filled up from this, and then all of this can come out here or go through here. I, th I think that's what I was doing. But now that I have a... Uh, you know what? Let's... Um, raise that back up. Is that, I can't actually see, is that raised? No, it is not, because I disabled, disabled the control of this during a temperate season. Or no, I didn't disable control of it during temperate, but I feel like I probably should. There we go. Yeah, because I want it, I want it to flow out of here. I don't know, I, I might have just done something stupid uh, having this set like I do. But uh, I, I do want and need water to be coming out of these these holes here. Make no mistake about that. And the water still can get into these. Uh, make, uh, make no mistake, again. Because uh, it has this opening here and this opening here. Just want to be a little bit smarter about how this comes in. Because we have to be able to rotate these and keep this filled up. So there's probably a better solution. Why, are, why in the world are all these guys so stinking hungry? There's so much food. There is an unbelievable amount of food. Should not be the issue here. It's probably because we don't have enough haulers, honestly. Well being's up to 17. Uh, let's go ahead and put another hauling post in. Um, I don't really have a good spot for this. Uh, I guess for right now, it could just go here. That'll be fine. Because I, I do have the nine beavers that aren't working, so we can get that done and improve our hauling stuff. Yeah, we just, we don't have enough water coming through this is our problem. You know, we, we gotta figure something else out. We gotta figure it out. Let's also not forget that we've had this stuff uh, shut off, some of it at least. So that's, uh, need to keep an eye on that. This is fully charged. But we're not going to need that to be charged during a bad tide, so that's okay. I just need to make sure we're continuing to do things that make sense. Or at least make a little bit of sense. We don't need extra uh, beds right now, but we want to make sure we can still do that. Um, do I have enough planks? Do I have enough metal? Because I kind of want to put another one of these exercise plazas in. I do. I do. I don't know if they can get it done in the next 1.1 days, but... Uh, we might as well go ahead and stick this in. 
try to keep equitable access to things on either side of the map. And then we'll continue expanding out that way. But we've gotten a lot of good stuff done in this one, folks. We have, uh, at some point, the ability to get more than 96 eggplants uh, picked and harvested and put over here for our uh, uh, eggplant rations. So we need to make sure that the logistics of that are working out. Okay, these aren't prioritized by haulers. They probably should be. Uh, these guys are now working in here. That's looking nice. Um, what else was I... Uh, I guess that's fine. We have a lot of stuff that needs to be... Yeah, we got a lot of stuff that needs to be picked. Uh, we have so many soybeans. So many soybeans. We don't need all those soybeans. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Is I will unplant these as soybeans. And I think we can replace those as cassava. That would be smart. At least this bit that I have uh, that I've put in here. And then I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these um, these berries here and plant another row of eggplants. But we have a lot of eggplants, but we could absolutely be making more of these rations and we're going to want to have access to those sooner rather than later. But guess what, folks? It's time for a bad tide. So let's pause and see what happens when we get to our... Uh, we get to our stream gauges working here because remember... Uh, this is the one that controls all of these other other things. So we'll, we'll do this, and then if it's a disaster, I guess I can fix the disaster, but then that truly will be the end of this end of this extended episode. Uh, hour 20-some minutes, all right. So, bad tide time. Let's pause and, excuse me, check out. These have not been raised yet, but they will be. Let's just check and make sure. Yep, those are up. Okay. So, um, this is not going to... Oh, you know what? <laughs> These aren't going to lower. These aren't going to lower until this gets, uh, this gets contamination. Okay. Well, in theory, this should be okay. Uh, if we get a little bit of backup... Uh, it's going to cause a problem, but let's uh, let's give this a shot. Okay, good, it opened. Uh, any backflow issues? No, doesn't seem like it. Are we... Uh... Yeah, okay. Okay. All right, that is... Oh, that's such a relief. All right, back to single time speed. It, it seems we've solved our problem, at least for right now. Uh, this kohlrabi is dying, as uh, one would expect. Uh, these <laughs> these coffee bush seedlings are uh, they're toast, but coffee and toast. There you go. There's your breakfast right there. But the uh, moral of the story is everything's looking good here. We made some good progress. I cannot resist putting in some more uh, some more of this path here, and also this side to side that we uh, thought we were gonna need. Yeah, I, I believe our friend Beans here is gonna be able to harvest all these beans by himself and uh, keep this stocked up nicely. Uh, we are going to want more coffee, but uh, for the time being, uh, we just have, for the time being, I guess, ha ha ha, boo, uh, we have this one guy. We'll put another one in, but look, look at this, look at this. The only bad, bad water infiltration we have is right here, and this is a space that is not going to have food growing on it. This will be storage of some type, and that is because, of course, uh, the bad water is going to touch here and here and here. That's why that's coming in. But this is looking really nice. Uh, no intrusion, not even in the corner here. So that's cool. I will, of course, get the rest of this taken care of. But now we have these four guys pumping out. The bad water will get some stored up. We still had some from the last time, so that's okay. We got some nice symmetrical exercise plazas going in. Well, they haven't started building this one. But the materials are all here. Well, they're all available. Just need to get them brought in. Yeah, we're looking good. What a transformation these last two episodes have been for this playthrough. We are now in a spot where we can, well, we need to expand the water pumping. That That's for sure. And I'm, I'm sure some of you have already uh, left comments about that on the last two episodes. But we will get into that now that we actually have 
a much better idea of what's going on, we are going to be able to really start launching into the fun part, the, the mega build that makes something really interesting. And yes, we might even be able to get to the toxic outlands and permanently set up bad water harvesting out here. But yeah, that's, that's all I got for this one. I appreciate your attention through this super long video, but I think it was worth it to get all of this accomplished. And as always, I'm very thankful for you and for our beard boosters as well. Uh, this episode is most likely, based on the schedule, uh, I believe coming out the day after Christmas, I think. So uh, hope you and yours had a wonderful holiday, whatever it is that you were up to. Uh, we will, of course, have had all sorts of other videos before then where I, will, where I will have wished you a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and all that. But I do genuinely appreciate you. Hope whatever it is that you're doing uh, for this time of year, whatever holidays you celebrate, you enjoyed them with people you cared about. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next episode of this series. Uh, I, I don't even know what day this one's hearing. I've been recording so many things over the past couple days. But uh, I trust that we'll see you again soon. So whatever it is you're doing, stay safe, have fun, and we will see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.